Hey guys, welcome to Jazz Tutorials. Today I'll be showing you how to make a cool and awesome form signature. You can go millions of different ways with this, but I'm just going to show you a simple way I know how to do it. So I've opened this photo here of a girl, and um, I have a background layer white, and then I have the image above layer one. All right, now we're going to add a new adjustment layer of grandite. Grandite. I don't know. Sorry, I messed it up. And you're going to now select a uh, light and a dark colors from your image using the eyedropper tool over there, as you can see what I'm doing. Then you're going to change it to radical, and you're going to hit reverse if needed, unless the light color is already in the background. And then you're going to change this over here, just so the uh, big circle is bigger, like that. Okay. And, yeah, now we're going to add two copy layers, so control J twice, layer one copy, layer one two. And then you're going to make layer one above all those. Make sure layer one is always on the top, just saying. All right, now we're going to get rid of one of the eyes over there to get rid of the layer two copy. We're, we're going to work with layer one copy right now. So we're going to the smudge tool. And now I have an X already made in my brushes, but I'm going to provide that for you in the, in, to the description. You can download this into the description, guys. You can download it. No need to comment me with it, all right? Then you're going to go over here and add these settings here for the brush right here. Follow these settings here, shape dynamics, and then the one below it and do as, do as I'm showing and you should have a awesome effect. And remember, X is in the download description. I mean, just descript, downloads in the description below. Trust me, I swear to God it's there. Okay, and then you're just gonna smudge, oops. And then you're just gonna smudge um, out that layer behind her like such. Um, smudge it however you want. Um, this is personal preference right now, so just do whatever you wanna smudge it however you want. And you should get a cool kind of effect similar to what I'm making here. Uh, yeah. Alright. And you can probably make the X brush yourself too if you'd like. Or, but I'm going to provide, I'm going to be nice and give it to you in the description to download. Because I'm awesome. Right? I'm awesome. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, now I'm just kind of um, changing the opacity of it and whatever. I'm trying to feel around and see. Um, nah, nah. I'm just messing around right now, so don't really have, this isn't really, yeah. Alright, now I'm on layer 2 copy, by the way. Layer 2 copy, the one that we had the eyeballing with. And now with layer 2 copy, I'm going to um, change that opacity as well. Down to nearly nothing, almost like 20, uh, yeah. let's see. Mm. Uh, let's see what looks good. Alright, yeah, 30%. 30% looks good to me. And then layer 1 copy was also changed to like 17%, whatever. Alright, now I'm going to do another layer 3 copy. Another copy layer 1. Below layer 1, by the way. And now I'm going to go over here and do a radical blur of that setting right there. And you should get something like that. Alright, there you go. You got it? You got it going on? Okay. You with me? Alright. Now you can resize it. Um by doing a control T or whatever you need to do to make it look awesome on your signature. I don't know. I'm going to just change the size of it and whatever just to make it look more awesome-ish. I use the word awesome a lot. <laughs> Sorry. All right. And then with that, on layer one now, we're going to move that layer. Oh, um, uh, what am I doing? All right. Yeah, layer one, copy three. And now I'm going to go over here to image and adjustments and click on photo filter. Photo filter, and then you're going to select on the filter section, you're going to select over here color filter 80%. And you're going to change the density down to nearly 6%. Uh, yeah. Right there. Okay? You with me? Okay. When do you have that, click OK. And then again, go back up there and do photo filter. We're going we're gonna to add four photo filters. So photo filter again, and then you're going to select, um, uh, which one? Uh, Siepta. Right there. All right, and change that density all the way up to, uh, yeah, right there. Okay. And then again, photo filter for the last time, I swear, up here, and you're going to select underwater. And then this one here, you're going to put all the way to 21%. Yep, right there. And then you're good. All right? It should sim it look like, there you go, just like that. should look similar to that. Maybe not exactly like that, but something like that. Then you're going to add a uh, granite map, and you're going to select a dark color for that, um, and then change it to soft white, and you'll get that. Alright? Got it? You with me so far? Alright. 
So, yeah, lighter color for that, sorry. And then layer one, we're going to select layer one again. And we're going to now change the opacity a bit, just because I feel like we should. <laughs> All right, and, whoa, gap, okay. And um, then I'm resizing my other thing again, because I feel like it needs to be resized, just because I feel like it. Although I'm probably going to change it back anyway. You never know, I'm weird. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, never mind. I'll just put it layer. What the hell? I don't know what I want. I'm bipolar. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, and I'm going to change that opacity a little bit just because I feel like I need to on layer one. All right, now layer two, copy. Layer one, copy two. We're going to add a new layer above that layer two. And we are now going to go in here and select some brushes. We're going to select that brush right there, a soft brush of any size, preferably a small, a uh, medium sized brush. And then we're going to change it to immediately soft light on that layer, soft light. Make sure you have white for your color. And you're going to paint over her and give her, like, you know, brightness. We're going to brighten up the girl, just like that. See what I'm doing? You got it? You with me? All right. And yeah, so there we go. Okay. Well, that looks good to me. All right. Awesome, right? Okay. And then um, basically you can add some more brushes and whatever if you want um, also. And so I duplicated that layer, by the way. And I'm not going to move it over to the right. And I'm just going to change that opacity basically almost to zero. I mean, not literally, but, you know, maybe like 22%. And I'm changing up to overlay, by the way. And then down to like 30%. And look at that. That's pretty cool, right? Right. Well, I think, yeah, there we go. All right. Where am I moving it to? I don't know. Okay, I swear, we're nearly done. <laughs> Anything. All right, so now I added some brushes here of my own. I added some glitter brushes, some text, and whatnot. Um, I will provide these glitter, these glitter brushes in the download description as well, along with the X brush. So everything you need is in the description below. Um, add whatever color text you want. I'm going to probably change my color a bajillion times because I never know what I want. <laughs> but anyway, um, so... Um, yeah, that's basically the tutorial. Um, you can probably add in your own effects, you know, play around a bit, see what looks good to you. Uh, yeah, that's my form signature. Um, I hope that helped you out. Um, as I said, there are millions of different ways you can go, you can go with the form signature. You can do whatever you want. Um, yeah, there you go. And here are some other ones I made earlier. Um, I made that one there earlier. Um, there's another one I made similar to the one, one that we just made, but more awesome. <laughs> And there's the one we just made. Look at that. Alright guys, well you know what to do now. As always, subscribe, like, and comment.